types of artificial airways include oral, laryngeal, nasal, and tracheostomy. Now, with oral artificial airways, they're usually made of thick plastic. They have a hollow center that's curved around the tongue. The reason for this curvature is to keep the tongue from occluding and ease the process of suctioning. Then you have nasal artificial airways. Now nasal artificial airways, you usually have this nasal trumpet that's a longer and softer tube that's put in what we call the nair. Now, this is done for airway protection before intubation or when the patient is sedated until that patient is awakened. Laryngeal artificial airways. Now, these are employed in emergency situations when the vocal cords are not visible. The tube has two lumens along with two bulbs to inflate, that is, to protect the lungs from aspiration of the stomach contents. And then you have, lastly, tracheostomy. Now with tracheostomy, artificial airways, they come either cuffed or uncuffed. They're placed in a surgically prepared tracheostomy site.